Hello everyone, this is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot. And thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to check out the weekly readings. And just a few more days in September with the Nefertari Tarot deck and then we'll move on to something special for the month of October. So let's just jump right into your quick glance at the energy of the day for Wednesday, September 28th, 2022. And today we have the Queen of Wands. Beautiful. Let's bring this in a bit. Very strong fiery energy coming in today with the Queen of Wands. Definitely an energy, a message coming in in regards to completion, in regards to someone or something, possibly circumstances, a situation maybe you've been dealing with. The Queen of Wands is Aries and Leo's fiery energy. And we did have Leo's card yesterday, the strength card. So this is like added help coming in today from the Queen of Wands in regards to something ending. And as you can see, she has her wand here firmly planted in place, putting up a huge force of energy to not let anything from your past break through. As she is now giving you here divine blessings for your future. And with today being the 28th, the numerology with this number is 10, which is completion. So the Queen of Wands is showing up today to make sure something is now finished and that energy is not being brought into your future endeavors. This could also mean you have an Aries or a Leo individual around you today, protecting you, guiding you, advising you on what you should do. And this certainly can be in regards to your health and well-being and your personal growth. Now, the queens of the court usually represent mother figures, adult women, possibly young women who are really mature for their age, but overall, women of knowledge and wisdom. And they play a huge part by turning the motivation of the kings of the court into actual reality. So when the queens show up, it's a time of growth and development. And this Queen of Wands is closing off something that she does not want you to bring into your future. So definitely could be someone, possibly a relationship that has ended, closing it off for good. It could be in regards to a job. Maybe you recently turned in your notice, resigned, and you might be having second thoughts. And the Queen of Wands is showing up today, strongly telling you to let it go. So there is something that's coming to a close, possibly, or you're contemplating either moving, quitting your job, leaving a relationship, something where the Queen of Wands is showing up to kind of give you encouragement, assistance to leave something in the past. She has firmly planted her wand in place, serving as a boundary of protection for that energy to stay in the past. Now, this could be in regards to your health. It could be possibly quitting smoking, giving up junk food, possibly taking better care of yourself and just moving forward and not slipping back into old habits. So she's definitely looking out for you today. She's got your back. And this certainly could just be the energy that is encompassing you today, or it could be an actual individual, an Aries, a Leo individual, that is convincing you to let something or someone go today. Now, the Queen of Wands is associated with your third chakra just above the navel at the solar plexus. And of course, the element is fire. This is a chakra of will and determination and it might be something that's not so easy to give up and leave in the past. So the Queen of Wands is showing up. Her energy is giving you some added strength in addition to the energy yesterday from the strength card. So you don't slip back into bad habits, bad relationships, or possibly staying with a job that you should let go of and move on. Now, the crystal that is specifically associated with the Queen of Wands is topaz and has many healing powers. 
This crystal's good for self-expression, reasoning, abundance, wealth, success, good health, detoxing, wish fulfillment, creative expression, and confidence. Many important factors as to why the Queen of Wands is showing up and putting up her wand as a barrier to keep something in the past. So take note of what might be coming to a close. Embrace the energy, the acceptance of whatever is coming to an end, and certainly leave it in the past. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, help support my channel, love and abundance. Until tomorrow.